Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 21st, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. So first of all, the US dollar as expected started to appreciate today we were roughly off half a percent and of course that had major uh, effect on most of these commodity these uh, not commodities but but uh, mm. currency pairs sorry so we'll start by looking at the great british pound and the us dollar and as you can see we are down roughly 0 0.28 percent but it is fairly clear that we are going to test at least the 20 exponential moving average here at 13.38. And uh, whether or not we bounce from there, well, that is to be seen. The US dollar index is still, um, is still trending downwards. It has, a, it has a pullback today, but those pullbacks are not expected to last. It is expected to depreciate even further. And that means that this uh, currency pair will go higher. If you look at the technical indicators for the Great British Pound and US dollar, you can see that the stochastic has turned around. We're still far away from the signal line. The same goes for the MACD, but the RSI is flat. The CCI is turning around. So it is fairly clear that we are going to go lower. Um, next week is going to be a very, not a lot of trading going around because it's a holiday week. So, so, um, but at this point, we are most likely going to go lower, and the 20 moving average, uh, 20 exponential moving average, has basically been significant um, support for a very long time. If that breaks, the 20 is here, and the 50 and the 100 is all the way down here. We tested that a few um, just last week, but but it is not expected to go all the way down here. This was basically the negotiation between Britain and United uh, and Europe. And uh, since then, things have changed significantly. We can also see that in the Bollinger Band, we did expect this to pull back because we were way outside of the Bollinger Band. So at this point, 13, 39, give or take, is basically where this most likely will turn around. So US dollar yen. We have rallied a little bit today up towards the 20 and then gave most of those gains back. At this point, the, the technical indicators are looking very dreadful for this currency, currency pair. So in order to buy into this, no, not buy into, into sell this, you need, it needs to rally up towards the 20 exponential or the 50. That will be where you should start selling this. At this point, it is fairly risky to start selling it because it can rally and then you basically get stuck here, or it can also go towards this lower um, um, lower trend line. But at this point, I would wait until we have a rally towards the 50 moving average in order to sell or a breakdown towards this trend line in order to buy it to the upside. We are in the downward channel and we've been here since March. And every time we get to the top, we can sell. Every time we get to the bottom, we can basically buy. So Euro, US dollar, we can see that we had, we're basically standing still. We tried to test the, the highs of yesterday, but broke down at this point. And um, if you look at the technical indicators, it is expected for this currency bear to have a little bit of a pullback. So you can see that Stochastic is basically turning around. The CCI is turning around and so on, but it's, it's, uh, it will probably take one or two training days in order for this to basically pull back a little bit. We are on the edge of being our bot, we're at 68, so there is room to the upside as well, but I do favor the downside first, and that gives the opportunity basically to buy this to the upside. Aussie dollar, US dollar, same thing here, it is significantly overbought, just, just to... And just to put that into to, uh, consideration, it is not a good idea to buy it here. It needs to fall back towards the 20 exponential in order to be able to buy into this. Technical indicators are still extremely bullish. 
So a pullback towards the 20, that is basically a buying opportunity. I would not buy it at this point because we're so overbought. So US dollar, Canadian dollar, we have rallied up towards the 20 exponential moving average. It is looking, um, this is looking really good for basically a short uh, because the 20 exponential has been a very uh, resistant in the past. And if we can get towards the 20 exponential and then get a similar candlestick or rejection at the 20 exponential, that basically means that we can start selling it. And we will target, first of all, these previous lows, but this could fall all the way down towards this lower trend line. This may take a long time, and the reason for that is because we have been significantly oversold in this currency pair. Technical indicators are turning around, so we may rally up towards the 20, stay here for a while, trading sideways, and then break down. So keep track of these technical indicators. They are turning around, so they are become. This is going to be bullish, but I don't think that we're going to break uh, or significantly break the 20 exponential. But every pullback, major pullback here, is basically a selling opportunity. So, hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over Patreon. Uh, the link is down below. Good luck and good weekend. Thank you.